Hello Ice and Fire Nerds, this is Chris and welcome back to another Game of Thrones Season 7 preview video. We got some new pictures released today, actually a few pictures released the last few days. The hype's been building up, so let's jump right in and do a Season 7 preview. <laughs> again at Dragonstone. We saw a previous shot of her kneeling down in the teaser and this is going to be fairly emotional for her here because this is actually the first time she's walked in her own country. She was literally an infant when she was smuggled off of Dragonstone so she's never literally touched the ground here. So this is going to be a pretty damn emotional time. And what I really really like about this picture here is her clothing. You can see a lot more detail in this picture here. These damn people on Game of Thrones do an amazing job on these wardrobes and you can see the black and the red here and the fine detail as far as her clothing. And everybody's getting a damn new outfit this season, and it looks badass. And that's what makes Game of Thrones one of the best damn shows on television, is their attention to detail. Or maybe she's just trying to catch a sand crab. And next we have Bran here taking a fucking nap. I mean, seriously, can you never, like, pull yourself for a little bit and give Mira a break? But anyway, in seriousness, this is the same shot basically we saw before. It's just zoomed in on Bran alone. This is going to be Mira and Bran approaching the wall. I'm assuming the Night's Watch already knows they're there at this point because in the previous picture, Mira is looking up. So I'm assuming she's looking up at the wall, probably about to enter through the gate at Castle Black. And next we have another picture of Arya here, and this is basically the same shot we saw before, except we have the director in the frame, and it's zoomed out a bit. And what really caught my eye to even mention this picture again is you can see here in this particular shot, you can see that that's not a complete wall whatsoever. You can see the background behind that, and it looks like to be it's kind of lush and green, like a regular wooded area, with no snow on the ground whatsoever. So it may or may not be in the shot, we have no idea. At this point, I would still guess, based off the gray look of the brick that she is arriving at Winterfell, Although, as I said in the previous video, she does look fairly cleaned up here, but it's hard to tell. And honestly, she could be anywhere between the Twins and Winterfell since we know she's going to head to Winterfell. But then again, if we see the entire shot here, we see that's not a complete wall there. It's just a partial wall. So it's hard to tell if we'll see the partial wall in the actual show itself or if it's going to remain a zoomed in shot as if she's in the north. And next here we have our first picture of Beric Dondarrion. Old Beric Dondarrion is back. He is sitting here with the Brotherhood Without Banners heading to the north. We can tell obviously this is in the north because we do see a lot of snow on the ground. And we see a lot of snow falling on the people behind him in this shot. And I think this is going to be right beside the Hound. We saw this picture earlier where he's in the north as well. Where he was wearing the cloak of Lem Lemon Cloak, one of the guys who hanged Brother Ray. And he then of course got revenge by hanging them with the Brotherhood Without Banners. And I think this is going to be right beside... Beric Dondarrion as they head north. I'm going to guess they'll stop by Winterfell at some point because if you're going to head north to the wall or beyond the wall, it only makes sense that you would stop at Winterfell, the last major stop before you get to the wall at Castle Black to get some fresh horses, clothing, food, warmth, etc. So I'm going to guess this is the same scene where we saw the Helm previously. But it's good to see old Beric again and I got a feeling this is probably going to be the last season we'll see him at all. And here we have a new shot of Danny inside Dragonstone as she walks in for the first time, I'm guessing. You can see Masande here, Grey Worm, and Tyrion. Now you can also see Unsullied here already at Garden the Place, so I'm assuming here they'll probably do everything off screen as far as her actually taking the castle. There should technically be Baratheon holdovers still at Dragonstone since the last person to occupy Dragonstone was Stannis. So I'm assuming here that this is after they've already kind of taken the castle and she walks in for the first time as she kind of looks around and takes it all in because this was the original seat of House Targaryen. And I did notice something on the ground here in the lower left-hand corner of this picture. I'm not really sure what that is. That could actually be a Baratheon banner she pulled down or had pulled down on the ground there because it looks like a piece of clothing or cloth. But again, this was a Baratheon stronghold as far as Stannis. And of course his sigil he changed to the Lord of Light's heart wrapped around the stag. So that very well could be an old Baratheon banner laying on the ground. It would be an interesting little detail to throw in there because a lot of people simply forgot about Dragonstone and forgot that Stannis used to hold it. And next we have another shot of Danny here. Again, this is on the beach at Dragonstone as she takes a handful of sand here. And you can see she's really, really emotional. And again, I love this shot of her dress here. You can see the detail there with the red and black in it. And she's looking up probably at the castle ahead of her as she gets emotional about finally making it to Westeros. And this is going to be a very emotional scene for show watchers and book readers for that matter. We've been waiting about 25 damn years. Or Tyrion's building a big-ass sandcastle. And next we have another shot of Danny walking on the beach of Dragonstone. This is likely right after the shot we just saw where she's leaning down, touches the ground as soon as she gets off the boat. And now she's going to head up to Dragonstone for the first time and take it all in. We do see Masande and Tyrion as well as Varys in the background, as well as a couple unsullied it looks like as they pull the boat 
up on the beach and she continues to walk towards Dragonstone for the first time. And next we have a shot of Gilly here reading a book. This is the same picture we got basically last time a few weeks ago where she's sitting there beside Sam at a table, likely in Old Town at the Citadel. And again, like I mentioned in the previous pictures video as far as the season seven preview, this is Gilly reading a passage here from the World of Ice and Fire about Azor Ahai. So I've been saying this for a long, long time on my channel. I believe that Gilly learning how to read is going to be a big deal and I think she'll actually stumble across something that Sam didn't and she'll probably read the words or something out loud like for example Azor Ahai and Sam goes, what, what did you say? And she hands the book over to him. So inadvertently she'll discover something very, very important to the end game of our story. And I wonder what the hell she's looking at over there. I wonder if that's, you know, baby Sam she's peering down at. I mean, that kid should be, what, about 15 or 20 by now? The timelines are a bit confusing. And next we have a picture here of John in the Great Hall at Winterfell. We see Davos right here to his right. Technically, there is no Hand of the King in the North. They don't really do it that way, but he's going to be his right-hand man, obviously, just like he was Stannis. So he's going to be the right-hand man of the next prince that was promised. And we also see Sansa here at the head of the table as well. This is likely going to be the meeting right before he leaves for Dragonstone, telling all the Northern Lords what he's going to do. He's going to go meet this Dragon Queen. He's going to go to Dragonstone and tell her what's going on and also want to get some dragon glass from there as well. If you remember back in an earlier season, Stannis did say there were shit tons of dragon glass at Dragonstone and I think that's going to be part of his mission as well. So this is likely going to be right before John heads out and he's telling everybody what's up and he's going to leave Sansa as Lady of Winterfell in charge of the North while he's gone. And next, our first picture of Podrick Payne for Season 7. This is pretty damn awesome. Podrick's one of my favorite characters. This looks to be in Winterfell due to the background being gray, and he's obviously going to be there with Brienne. But I'm kind of disappointed here. Podrick don't look like he's got a new outfit on. Everybody else has new digs, and he's in the same old shit. So poor old Podrick getting screwed all over the damn place. He needs a new black outfit as well so he can fit in with everybody else's clothes. But good old Podrick here. I'm glad to see him again in Season 7, and I hope we get to see him again in Season 8. And we got to find out what's going on with that brothel. Now, this is probably the most interesting picture in this little group here. And this is a Sam here in his pajamas at Old Town. No, actually, this looks like more of a surgical type robe. And you can see his hands are bloody. He's actually measuring something here in the background, which looks to be like a heart or a liver or something pretty damn gross on a scale here. The question is what's on the other end of that scale because it's heavier than whatever the hell that is. But the point being here that it looks like he's putting together some ingredients and I'm going to guess this is going to be related to the curing of Grayscale and Jorah. We saw in the trailer breakdown Jorah's arm sticking out of a little door, probably some type of quarantine chamber so he can treat his arm. And I'm going to guess this is related to that scene as Sam puts together some ingredients here he's found about trying to cure Grayscale because he does look like he's doing some kind of surgical procedure here, but he's definitely mixing some kind of ingredients for something because his hands are kind of bloody or dirty and wet looking as well as all the shit on his clothes. So this may very well be the cure for grayscale or an attempt at it, and I'm very curious to see what the hell that is. And last but not least, we got a little behind the scenes video here from Game of Thrones released today as well. And this was about special effects basically in Game of Thrones, and it's really, really cool little video. Nothing really major here. You did see a few shots that we saw on the teaser trailer, but you do see here in this particular shot them working on a boat here. This does confirm there's going to be a sea battle here, and likely this is going to be a Greyjoy versus Greyjoy battle because this is going to be Theon and Yara probably battling against Euron and his ship Silence. Now this is probably not the Silence itself because it looks like they're rigging up explosives and pyrotechnics on this ship and I don't think Euron's going to lose this fight. And the other cool thing here in this little video they released about the behind the scenes stuff today was Danny riding Drogon here. Now obviously this is a mechanical Drogon with some green screen behind her. So this is going to be likely be Field of Fire 2.0 where they attack the Lannister army after they move on Highgarden. That's my guess here. She is going to be obviously riding Drogon in Season 7 because this is her new dress here, the black and the red dress. She's got the three-headed dragon brooch on, which is a completely different dress from when she arrives at Dragonstone. So this is going to be later in the season. So this is definitely Season 7 stuff here, and it's going to be very, very cool. And this is likely the shot we got in the teaser trailer of all the Dothraki in the field and her flying on Drogon. And perhaps the other two dragons are there as well. But the point being here that we're definitely going to see a Field of Fire 2.0, or at least Danny flying on Drogon and burning some shit up, regardless of where it is. So this is definitely Season 7 here and not a previous season like some of the other shots from this particular video. We're getting a lot of new pictures about every damn day now, but most of them are basically the same shots we've seen before, just various angles. But the hype is building and we're only about a month or so away, so let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers, Hall Griffin, Ball Guy 10 Lala Gig, Kisa Powell, Mark Joseph, Marilyn Bentley, Joanna, Sean Hayes, Doc Holliday, Gaska, 
Hoonjav, Kieran D20, and Nikki Snow. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. And to everyone out there on YouTube land, I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to get everything and make sure you click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new damn video because only about 8 to 10% of subscribers are being notified when people drop new videos unless you click that bell. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.